did you you read a lot about breastfeeding? How long did you decide it was best to keep your son breastfeeding? How because uh, I know some women do for two months, some women do for five years. Like uh, what did, what did you decide in that respect? Yeah, of course I um, I learned about breastfeeding a lot. I read a lot, and uh, I found that the, the the longer I breast continue my breastfeeding, it's the best the better for my son. So uh, I decided to stop around three years old. But I stopped in two and three months. He was two two years three months because yeah, I yeah, yeah I did, I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, continue until three years because uh, I had some breastfeeding problem uh -huh. and I. Uh -huh. And I couldn't uh, find nice uh, consultation here in Japan because Japanese doctors and um, a consultation, breastfeeding consultants, they told me just just stop it. It's too long. So, <laughs> but that I think that's really good. I think two years is longer than many mothers do. I think I think you did a long time. And what by that time was your son eating lots of uh, fruit and. Uh, other kinds of foods, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, I, I gave him a, a green smoothie. I gave him a lot of fruits and sweet fruits. And yeah, of course, he doesn't like vegetables. He still doesn't like so green smoothie. It's only one way how I can introduce his <laughs> vegetables. But he really loves fruit. Okay. And, and uh, how old? How old is your son now? I he's four years now. Okay. Four years. And yeah, okay. but um, of course not only fruit because, because I live in uh, my family is um, mixed family, so my husband is not vegetarian even, so it's very difficult to keep him uh, as vegan because uh, my husband eats just traditional Japanese food every day. Right. So of course my son wants to try, and he he loves rice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I see. So, um, do you have to cook uh, two different meals, one for you and one for your husband? Yeah, wow. yeah. You have to make three different dishes every day for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Three different. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, a lot of work. And you know, in Japanese kindergarten, uh, they don't provide food. I, I, I'm very happy about this actually. So. Uh, <laughs> I make bento, you know, obento, like box, lunch box every day yeah. for my husband and for my son. And of course, it's too different. <laughs> yeah, wow. So, like a lunch box for my son, it's of course half, half a box it's rice and half it's fresh um, fruits and vegetables usually. Yeah, sometimes he asks me some uh, sausage because other kids like to eat it, so he one same, so I'm making or buying some vegetarian vegan sausage you know, for him. That's great, that's great. Um, has your has your husband and his family been supportive of you in your choice of diet or no? Of course not, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big problem and uh, still it's not so fine, but and, you know, I feel they already ex accepted because last time when we went for dinner to my to husband's parents, they prepared salad for me. So I was very surprised. I thought, oh, it's happened. <laughs> Finally, it's happened. That's good. That's good. I, so I imagine <laughs> there's probably a, a fairly significant raw food movement in Japan. Yeah. Um, raw food in Japan. Yeah, you know raw food. Uh, I I didn't meet actually no one raw foodist. Yeah, Japanese. Almost of them, they still have rice. So it's yeah. kind of uh, raw. They call yourself raw foodist, but like um, 60, 70 percent, like they still have rice, or sometimes, um, or you. I met some people. They raw foodist, but they eat raw meat, uh, meat and raw. Um, raw yeah. fish. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of different raw food.